Okay, so we're going to be looking at um, different supplies that you're allowed to use and where you can find them in the art room. So right now we're looking at the paint cabinet. Okay, as you can see, just by the different labels on the side that they're labeled on what I have available. Okay, now a couple of things. First off, um, up top you have watercolors. Watercolors are very um, light. And they, um, I have two different kinds. As you can kind of see right here, I have paint uh, trays, all right? And I also have watercolor pencils. Next to them, I have different kind of water paint cups. So if you want to actually use one of these, it's absolutely fine. Um, underneath, now different grades are using different amounts or different kinds of paint, all right? The next level down is tempera. This is only for sixth grade. Temper paint is washable, as you can kind of see from the um, on the bottles. All right, the washable is great. It comes out. It's also very thin, and it dries kind of, you know, chalky in a way. Um, next to it, we have um, different kind of metallics. Those are all I have. Not many, but they give a shiny effect. All on the bottom here are acrylic. Now, as you can see, there's a whole variety of them. Now, these are a little bit um, different than tempera, okay? As you can see, I have lots of different ones, but here's the catch. It doesn't come out of clues as easily, okay? They do give a little bit of a, a glossy look to them, more of like shiny, I want to say. Um, and they, they dry pretty quickly, um, probably a little bit slower than the actual tempera. Now, as you can see, they're all organized here, okay? So some of the rules that I've got going on, paint rolls, all right? Always close the cap, take out and use and immediately put back. So that means when you take a paint out to use it, you are putting it right back so there's no holes. It says, use only the first paint in the row. Do not open a new bottle. Ask first, so if we need to you know, get a new one, you need to ask me first and keep the cabinet super clean. If it gets, you know, too messy, we can't find the paints that we need. All right. Now, on to other supplies. Now, another one, depending on where they are on the shelves over here, are paint. They're mats, okay? So you can see these right back here, okay? These are mess mats. They may be in different kinds of colors, different styles, but what you do is you actually take them and you put them underneath your painting project when you work on them. Because if you don't, you will be washing the table. Next, I'm going to go into the container. All right, so let's open it. As you can see, it's very organized, okay? A couple of things that you're going to be using, and most of them are on the bottom shelf that you will be using. We will use things up at the top, but not for this project. Okay, water containers. Water containers, you I'll just add water. Um, it says make sure they're cleaned out so you just rinse them out and they need to be placed upside down. We do that because they'll drip dry. All right, next we have the paint palettes. Must be scrubbed, that means you are using warm water or hot water and you can use, not here, these kind of scrub brushes, all right? They are great for getting um, paint out. Um, you can use a sponge. Also, another trick is if you take um, paint brushes, okay, so for example, this one right here, you can actually rinse them out the, um, the trays as well. Okay, last one is placed nicely back. All right, so we have two different kinds. We have disposable and we have a tray, okay? These ones here are ones that we will need to actually wash out, okay? When you use paint for anything, you're only allowed a small amount, okay? There's no adding a big glob that is not necessary. Um, if you use disposable ones, which I'll show you in a second, still the same amount of paint, all right? So how much paint are you allowed? No bigger than the size of your thumb, okay? So I'm gonna put that back. All right. Right here, these are disposable. They are wax sheets. Okay, all you do is you pull it out and you rip it out. Okay, what I would suggest is don't take the whole thing out, rip this in half and only take one half. Okay, that goes back up. Okay, next, the corner. All 
right, so this is the brush cabinet, okay? There are two different kinds of brushes that you're going to be allowed to use. There are coarse brushes, which when you feel them, they feel very stiff. Um, they're also lighter in color, so when you kind of like take your finger and you go back and forth like this, they feel kind of hard. Um, they're great for um, thick paint, not necessarily uh, watercolors, more of acrylic and definitely for... Um, Tempo as well. The soft brushes, okay, this is great for all you know the different paints and most definitely watercolors, okay. Um, both of them you have to make sure that they're very clean, okay, because if not, they get really hard. Now, for brushes, please make sure that when you place them back, the brush side goes up, they're extremely clean, and they're in the correct bin, okay. If you find that any of them are hard to actually um, clean, okay? Another thing that we can use is the stuff up here. Look at this, okay? This is called brush cleaner. All you do is you open up, wet your brush, okay? Swirl it around, and you wash the brush. This is actually um, soap for brushes, all right? So if you want, you may use them. I put this actually up the palettes. Alright, and that's pretty much all you need to know about the different